All right, everybody, in the last lab that we did, we worked on a tap that would make our robot go forward, left turn, which would turn left 90 degrees, and a right turn that would turn right 90. The problem with our turns, if you didn't notice, was is that sometimes our 90 degree turns, even though we programmed them to be correct, we said, hey, greater than 89, so it should stop right at 90. What we find is, is that sometimes it stops short, or sometimes it goes too far. Now, this isn't a big deal if you're just making one turn or two turns. However, if you're making six turns throughout solving the maze, these errors add up. And by the time you're on the fifth or sixth turn, your robot's not even going to be close to facing the correct direction. Okay, so here I've gathered the pieces you're going to need. Um, what we want is we want to make a pointer at the front of the robot so we can tell exactly which way it's facing and compare it to a line on the table. That way we can be 100% certain that our turns are actually turning out to be 90 degrees. We're going to calibrate it. Now, what's calibration? Calibration is the idea that sometimes things get off or they're not correct 100%. And instead of making them make sure they're going to be correct every time, we just say, okay, they're not correct. Let's correct for that. Let's take a couple degrees off so it becomes 90 degree turn. Let's, take, let's add a few more degrees so it becomes a 90 degree turn that's perfect in real life. So we're gonna calibrate our robot like this, but we have to find out which way it's pointing exactly because degrees, one degree, two degrees is not very much of a difference. So we need to be able to see it. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna do is you're gonna, of course, you need a robot, six of the pins. You need the two by four L connector. This piece right here, it's just kind of like an H or a capital I connector. And then this one beam, all right? And we'll be able to see through these holes to see if our line is lined up correctly. So it'll be real easy with this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by just putting these two right in the middle here. Okay, two black connectors right there. Okay, and then we're going to attach that to the front of our robot. See right here, this motor? There it is. And let's turn it upside down to take a look. And the rest of it is going to be attached down here. So I'm going to take this L connector and put two of these at the end, just like that. And I'm going to take this, and again, this is upside down. I'm going to put this in this piece that we added so that it sticks out right down the middle. So this is lined up with the middle of the robot. Oh, looks like this is coming a little bit loose. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the next part. Then we're going to have the indicator, which is what we're going to aim with. And that one's pretty easy. We're just going to put two of these in here. See, right here and here. And then I'm just going to attach this right to the end there. Okay. And so when we get done, this is pretty close to the ground, but there's still a little bit of space. There's still one unit of space underneath here. You could slide one Lego underneath there. All right. So that's good. And now we're ready. We have our build and we now have something that faces exactly forward it's really easy for anybody to see which direction it's facing. Okay, now we're gonna show you guys how to compare this to a line. So go on to the next video and it'll show you guys what to do with this thing.